shit. Stone five. If you ain't already know, now you know. Hey. I don't think a rock really came no harder than this. Uh-uh. Shit, Chris. red alert. Hey. Hey. The boy is a mess. Better wipe me down. Half pimp, half hustle, slightly clown. I goof off on that instrumental. Something like a murderer, I kill with a pad and a pencil. Explain my style, I can't even begin to. Money, cars, and jewels, the things I'm into. Show to your skeptic, say I'm not a good influence. Might trip for a minute, but return like rent. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the middle of the install. Yeah. Alright. Uh, there she is. Looking pretty nice there. Say hello to the camera. Hi. You always talk dirty to Turbo? Oh, I talk super dirty. It gets <laughs> nasty as shit at the track. Oh, it gets real nasty at the dyno, too. Yeah, those clothes you hit. <laughs> Please excuse that. <laughs> <laughs> so, there will be more documentation right after this message. <laughs> well, we're wrapping up the install. Downpipe is buttoned back in. Wastegate is also in. I'm gonna hop onto the car and tighten that back. Hook up the lines for it. Metal zip ties. Build at Home Depot. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, well, you gotta take video evidence, you know. You, know, you never know. Check it. When something goes wrong. Exactly. Then you can document it and figure out what it is. Ex exactly. So then I can look at this and I'm like, Scott oh shit. Scott on? put that bolt on. God damn it. <laughs> you know? You put the metal zip tie. That car was fire. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. See? Uh oh. I think it slipped down the line. Yeah. I well, I gotta go underneath the car anyway, so. Alright, so next video will be startup. I don't know why I say next video, it's all gonna be one video. <laughs> it's gonna mesh it together. And we got the beast here. Same car, but a little less power. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Because that is going in there. S300SX. <laughs> you can hold that. Check engines. Holy shit, it smells like coolant. Holy shit. Oh boy. That's potent. It's very potent. Potent like a tiger. Alright, but no check engines. Alright, so this is day after the install. Um, through a check engine, a P0401, um, which is EGR flow, uh, 
insufficient or ECR e EGR insufficient flow. Uh, I'm like, well, what the hell is that? Obviously, I still have my EGR, which is what's in front of you right now. So I took this apart. There's um, four screws. You know, one, two, three, and four. Uh, mine were pretty nicely, uh, pretty nicely stripped. Well, one of them was, but the other three came out pretty much no problems, and this pretty much pops right off. Um, I've already cleaned this up, but more importantly is you have two pieces in here. You have this pusher, and then you have, well, it's not a pusher, it's a piston, but, and then you have in here, you can actually see the piston. If I can focus piece of shit there we go so when I went to open this up that's what I saw it's basically exactly like that it was stuck in the down position so basically the valve was open when the car was at idle when I was moving at all times it was open and caused a really bad stutter and basically the only way to fix this is to clean out the EGR. So as you can see there's a ton of carbon in there. This is actually after I've already cleaned it so every time I push this down more carbon comes off. So I'm gonna hit it a little bit more. I might even throw a, a little brush or something in there just to try to clear it out as much as possible so it doesn't stick again but apparently this is a pretty common problem on these um, just because of you know the the bullshit emissions control that they route a lot of it back into the uh, back into the intake track and the problem with that obviously is after time it gunks up and I've been running a little rich lately so uh, I gunked up like twice as fast and then stopped altogether but I'm gonna reinstall and see if we still get the check engine and go from there alrighty so everything's cleaned up. Had to brake clean the hell out of it because I spilled oil everywhere. Left the, uh, the cap off off the valve cover. That was lots of fail. But cleaned up the EGR. Um, the piston was stuck in it so that's what I'm thinking caused the, um, the P0401 check engine but it's all cleaned out now. Connected back the battery and whatnot so I want to go ahead and try and start it, see what happens, see if it actually starts up. Alrighty. Let's see how good of a mechanic we are.
wanted to give, um, because I don't, you know, there's a lot of videos of, um, like, dinos and, uh, track videos, but, I mean, let's be real, 90% of the time you're probably not going to be at the dyno or at the track, so, uh, I mean, this is pretty much where you're going to be using it, well, for most people, well, I know for me, because this is my daily driver until I get another car, um, which will be coming soon, now that I'm just about done with this now, but, um, pretty much, I just wanted to give a, a video of how it sounds like driving around town, and honestly, you know, I'm cruising at, what, like 40 right now, you know, uh, 2,000 RPM, I'm in fifth, put it in sixth, and, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about, oh, well, uh, it's a big turbo, so, you know, there's going to be spool issues, but, I mean, between the 28 and, um, and this, there's really not that big of a difference that I've noticed, um, I mean, it could just be because I'm used to driving it normal, and I don't really go watt, uh, I mean, when I go watt for the first time, then, then I'll definitely know there's, uh, there's a difference in the, uh, in the spool time, but just in terms of, like, day-to-day -day driving or just driving out to work, cruising on the highway, it's, I mean, it's, it's tame as shit, um, and like you can see, I'm cruising in six gear, you know, like, 1800 revs, and she's not upset, there's no check engines, I can still dip into the throttle and it'll move, I don't have to downshift, so... I mean, honestly, it feels like the best of both worlds. I know they said that it's designed to have, like, a um, a 35R top end, but with the spool of, like, a like a 30 series, like a 3071. And, I mean, I have yet to see what the top end's about, but in terms of the spool, yeah, I can um, I can definitely attest to that. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty damn good. But, I'm, I mean, I'm happy as shit right now. Obviously, once I get the tune on it, and I get the uh, and I get the motor re ring, I can actually have some fun. Although I'm limited to um, three inches on my intake right now, so I'm gonna be pretty limited for power until I can actually get like a three and a half inch or four inch. So I'll probably only be able to make like 450. But uh, honestly, coming from 360 and going to uh, and going to 450. Well, actually, I made 380 before, but I drove around on 360 because I didn't want to have E85. <laughs> so I ran, like, a really, a really pretty weak tune. But going from 360 to 450, honestly, I don't think I'm going to have any problems with 450 until I can get a new intake and get to 5. But, yeah, this is just um, a little driving video, so... I guess, uh, comment if you have any questions, obviously, I'll do my best to answer them, uh, I did a decent amount of research on how the, uh, on how the GTX works, and the benefits, and it's, it's a solid, it's a solid turbo for the, uh, for the money, it's definitely a solid turbo, and I'm very happy that I grabbed this instead of, like, uh, I originally thought about Precision, uh, like a 62, 62, or a lot of people now are getting on the 58, 58 train, uh, but honestly, I just don't feel like trying to stuff that big of a turbo in stock location uh, on one of these, because it just, it won't work, uh, it'd have to be top mount, and I'll actually put a picture of my buddy set up, um, because he's going top mount, because he's getting a, uh, an S300 SX, but you can't fit that stock location, and then you need a special Manny, and a different downpipe, you know, new, d different, um, different intake, fuck that, uh, I'm cool throwing it, stock location, I'll get what I get, I'm happy, but, uh, yeah, if you got any questions, just, uh, throw them down below, um, like it if you like it, um, subscribe if you want to see more videos, because Dino and the re-ring will probably be coming up real soon, so, should be a good summer. Alright, I'll see you guys later.